Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and I'm here again with the Nortec Gecko EduBook, which is an 8.9 inch laptop with an X-Core 86 processor. Uh, it's a 1 gigahertz processor. Not a very fast processor, and last time I looked at Windows XP, it wasn't performing very well. Um, I've been told by the folks at Nortec that one of the things I really needed to do is try to optimize Windows XP a little bit better to improve the experience, so I turned off System Restore, uh, changed the default theme, uh, I turned off indexing of the uh, SD card, which is running the operating system, and some other things, so hopefully it'll run a little bit faster this time. But again, it's not going to be a blazing fast system no matter what you do. So I'm going to go ahead here and open the web browser. It's probably going to take a moment. Well, actually, that loaded fairly quickly. Um, seeming to have some trouble getting online, though. Um, so, you know, for example, I found that it can actually play back some video. It definitely can't handle high-definition video. Um, doesn't have the capacity to do uh, YouTube video, for example. Okay, so there we go. There's a web page. Let's do the New York Times. So it takes a little bit longer to load a web page here than it does on a lot of other um, netbooks that I've used, but it, it is capable Come on. The one thing that I, you really don't want to do with the with, uh, 1 gigahertz processor and 512 megs of RAM and um, uh, operating system running off of the, uh, the SD card is try to do a lot of multitasking. So I'm not going to open up multiple tabs here and try to open something in the background. I'm just going to wait for this to, to finish loading and we're pretty much there. So uh, let's go ahead and open the little computing. This also will take a little while, but um, it should work. And these are pretty much static web pages we're looking at. So, you know, the experience with uh, JavaScript heavy pages is uh, a little bit trickier. Things like Google Maps or uh, Zoho Office or or anything that's going to require a little bit more. Once they're up and running, they they respond reasonably well, but they're pretty slow to load. Okay, so there we go. Lilliputing is up and running. Takes a little while. Once it's once it's up, works fairly well. So let's go ahead and close this. Sometimes it takes a while, I found, for uh, applications to respond to commands. I'm going to go ahead and plug in a USB flash drive now that has some video on it. And show you that, um, unlike in the previous video, I can actually get some VGA quality videos to run here. But, as I said, I'm hitting the start menu, nothing's happening. So, you sort of have to be patient with this machine. It, it can run Windows XP, but it's, uh, it's not really tweaked for speed. It's uh, more a question of uh, affordability, uh, modular upgrades. You can actually pop out this processor and replace it with a new one when a new one is available. There we go. And uh, I've installed VLC Media Player, but I find that it pretty much just crashes all the time. Uh, so I'm going to actually try to open one of these in Windows Media Player. I've been told that uh, the open source SM Player, which is a uh, Windows application for M Player, also works. So here's a video I shot from CES, and as you can see, playback is decent. Takes a little while to close. Let's do another one. This is Brad Linder with Little Cuting, and I'm here with Andy Clipsham of HP. And we're looking at a uh, prototype here, which is yeah. a technical demo, uh, demonstration of uh, HP netbook. And one thing that I'm seeing here is that the audio and video sync is a little bit off, so 
you know, playback's not perfect. Um, you wouldn't necessarily want to use this as a media player, but... Audio, video sync is off, there's some skip frames. But again, this isn't really meant to be a multimedia machine. It's meant to uh, be a relatively affordable solution. This entire laptop only costs about $200 to put together. And um, because it runs on AA batteries, which are uh, rechargeable AA's that can be charged in the device, and uh, sold for $200 to um, you know, school children in developing nations, uh, easy to replace the battery if you need to replace it or upgrade or, or make some changes. And, um, and so that modular nature is really what makes this special, not necessarily the high performance. That said, Nortec is working on faster processors and, um, and beefing up the specs a little bit for future models. That, of course, will drive up the price. But uh, I just wanted to show that if you, if you go through a little bit of trouble to tweak Windows XP, you can get some better performance. Not perfect performance. Um, you know, it's not exactly up there with the Intel Atom just yet or, or any more powerful processors but it can handle some audio video content and uh, definitely web surfing is doable again as long as you're not uh, looking for the speediest experience. Um, this is Brad Linder with Little Computing and I'm here with the Nortec Gecko Edubook, uh, the 9 inch version with Windows XP and a 1 gigahertz X-Core 86 processor.